Hey everybody, it's Ken Posick here in Orlando, Florida, and this is This Week in Orlando, episode number nine, where I talk about new developments, new chief of police, and a cool house that I found here right in Orlando. Let's get into it. So the first story comes to us from the city of Orlando. Actually, the mayor has now named a new chief of police. The old chief of police, John Mina, stepped down to run for Orange County Sheriff, which is great. Congratulations and best of luck to him. The new chief of police that's been named, his name is Orlando, which is pretty crazy, right? Uh, the guy was pretty much born to protect the city and of the namesake that he has, so that's pretty cool. He's been a resident of Orlando for the past 40 years. He's been on the police force for over 25 years, and uh, he's stepping into the role. His name is Orlando Rolone, and originally he's from Puerto Rico. So that means that he's going to be the first Hispanic chief of police here in Orlando. So that's pretty cool. Best of luck to you, Police Chief Rolone. Story number two has to do with the Orlando Fashion Square Mall. If you know anything about the area and, and basically the mall itself, it's sort of coming down in terms of the amount of traffic and the amount of open stores there. And so over the past few years, there's been developers that have come in to try to reinvigorate that mall and try to reimagine what it is. Now, since all of those have not worked, the new developer that stepped in is Chuck Whittle. And if you know Chuck and any of his work, basically for from Unicorp. Uh, he's better known for uh, the Orlando Eye and the upcoming O-Town West. And so basically he wants to reimagine the mall not as just a mall, but maybe an entertainment district. And so he's thinking about tearing down much of the mall, keeping some of the anchor stores who actually own the land underneath their stores. And so there's a lot of moving pieces here. And so my question to you, as this area gets redeveloped and as Chuck's vision comes to life, you know the guy and you know some of his past work, he's definitely a visionary. If you could see that being anything and utilizing it, I'm curious down below if you wanna let me know what would you like to see go in this place? If you live in that area or if you work in the area, what would you utilize more? Would it be more entertainment? Would it be more shopping or what would it be? Let me know. Story number three has to do with the coolest property that we found for sale here over the past week in Central Florida. This property is 517 Greenlee Street in College Park. The property was built in 1997 and it has 2,800 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and it's a Mediterranean style and I think a really unique property overall, which is pretty cool. So make sure you check it out. It's listed for $695,000. If you have questions about this property or any other stories we talked about today, we'd love to hear from you. Reach out at ken at posicgroup.com or give me a call at 407 717-0197 and we'll see you next week. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.